and uh, The differences between Kenyatta University Training, Research and Referral Hospital Board Chair Olive Mugenda and Kenyatta University Vice Chancellor Paul Wainaina came to the fore today when the two appeared before the National Assembly Public Investments Committee on Governance and Education over the ownership of the hospital. We worked as colleagues. Uh, he respected me as his uh, VC. I think this issue just came up now when the hospital was made into a parastatal. Otherwise, I want to assure this committee that there's nothing personal. When we started, of course, we are talking about Kenyatta University. But after the order, I realized that the only person who was sharing that dream about Kenyatta University being used by our students was the vice chancellor, that is myself. According to Wainaina, the previous regime erred when it made the hospital a parastatal, arguing that the move has disadvantaged medical students who can no longer access the facility for their training, which was the primary reason for the setting up of the hospital. The students using the hospital under the parastatal, they are going to suffer because the element of academic is going to be secondary. We are going to emphasize treatment. As long as we make sure that the students come, and they can come even tomorrow, Chair, we have accreditation. We have even written to Professor, the CEO wrote to the Professor, and said, please bring the students. His assertion was disputed by Mugenda, who said the students have now been granted access to the hospital, adding that running the kind of facility is not tenable for the management that is running a learning institution of Kenyatta University magnitude. In terms of management of the hospital, um, I would like to happily submit that it is better as a parastatal, just because of the complexity. I can't, I don't know how Professor would intend to do it, but as a VC also we have this many students we are taking care of, and then now a 650-bed hospital. The Attorney General, who was appearing for a second time on the matter, was also invited to shed more light and give his input on the matter alongside representatives from the Treasury. And looking at the size and the mandate of the university as well, putting them under one umbrella chair is something that this committee also need to consider as we go along resolving this issue. I think perhaps the dream was not lost here. <laughs> the dream was hijacked uh, elsewhere. That appears to me to be the, the natural interpretation of what happened, such that uh, you know, the, the administration that was in office in 2018 was totally ignored. The committee will now hold a roundtable meeting with all concerned parties for a lasting solution to the matter. Uh, Attorney General had been here. Philip Murutuke, 24, Nairobi.